Here's some additional four more bubble skip patterns that I've been working on. These are going to happen on really late exits from Magic Cave. First one is the top spawn with the large encounter on the right. And all the first all of these are gonna be uh, the first bubble skip is a little tricky. You gotta go really fast. This is the one the only one where you go to the top left. Fast. Exit left. screen. Top center is pretty normal. Left, go. Let's go. Okay. Second one. This is, this also happens, this is the bottom spawn with the large on the right. This one was uh, found by Chosen here. Thank you, Chosen. Using his manipulation. So this one is lower left. There's actually two two of these patterns. One, go right away, otherwise you'll miss it. Exit to the right. Fast. So you got three stabs. One, two, three. That's setting up for the back spawn here. Cool. Third one. This one is the first pattern that has a different. Uh, encounter pattern coming out of Magic Cave. There's actually, and I'll show it to you on, on number 11 after this, but this one is a front spawn with a large in the front. It's the same, the first pattern is the same as the one that we had for fairies, but it doesn't have fairies. For the bubble skip. Once again, lower left, and then move right away. Always like that. Okay. This one does have a fairy coming up here, but we're gonna just go right at the fairy and it'll run away from you. Last one here. This save state actually starts way back by Magic Cave, so you'll see what that looks like. This one you can see the pattern coming out here. This is the same as the one a couple of before it. The bottom spawn with the large on the right. This one was found by Trav. Trav White. Thanks, Trav. This is the same as Chosen's a couple ago. We're going to do the same movement, but this time it's a different bubble skip. It's actually the heavy on the right. It's the large encounter on the right instead of on the below you. So you exit left there. This part is the same. This one's a little tricky because they're going to want a random walk on you. So you kind of got to move special to get them to follow you. Wait. 
then go. I'm gonna go up and around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for him here. Sometimes, depending on where you get that encounter, since he's coming up and he's not running into you, you'll get a back spawn, you might get a front spawn. It is entirely dependent on the frame that you get hit by the encounter. And since he's not the encounter is not coming at you, it's coming to the screen on top of you, you don't have any control over that. So uh, for this one, you can't guarantee that you'll get a back spawn. I did this time, but um, yeah, it's better to just wait on this one. This one's a pretty late encounter, so hopefully you don't get it. <laughs> but um, that is an example of how to do those. Thank you very much.